Good morrow, nerds, and welcome to the Slime Lab. I mean the LARP house. I am Cheyenne Rain, and this week we are starting a mini-series called Practical Magic, where I show you practical effects that would be great in LARP that look like magic but are actually science. And so we are going to start with the craze that is sweeping the YouTube. Slime. Now, just about everyone on the entire internet has done a video about slime, and I have been obsessed with the stuff for weeks. Weeks. Like, my, my boyfriend said that slime is taking over my life, and it needs to stop, and I was just like, how dare you? Now, someone had the gall to say that I shouldn't do a slime video because slime has nothing to do with LARP. I was just kind of like, oh, really? So, I am going to be showing you my recipe for the perfect special effects slime. I mean, this stuff can be used for gore and mucus and ectoplasm and potion props. I mean, it's really, it's really up to your imagination. And, you know, it's a, it's a pretty easy cleanup here, so that's a big bonus. But first, some LARP House news and updates. If you want to skip all that stuff and go straight to slime time, click here. So, I fly out for College of Wizardry tomorrow, or today, depending on when this video is uploaded. Like, the video is gonna be so cool, and I'm just so freaking excited! So thank you guys so much for all your help. Like, this is a dream come true, and I can pretty much, like, vomit on command from being so excited all the time. I, I feel so privileged and lucky to have supporters like you, so thank you doesn't really cover it, but thank you. <laughs> what that does mean though is that until the 20th of this month, the people who will be getting the most content will be the patrons because I am only going to have my little baby laptop and my phone. Don't worry, lots of this stuff will be included in the eventual official College of Wizardry video, but patrons will get sort of exclusive behind the scenes stuff, especially the travel guides. Thank you guys. Speaking of which, the next trip is going to be to Japan and Travel Guides will get my own twist on a traditional kitsune mask. And as it turns out, I do need some help covering expenses for that because in my personal life I have to make some gradual but significant budget cuts. And while it's nothing to worry about too much, it does suck because it means that I can't afford to pay out of pocket for so much of the LARP house expenses. I want this show to be the best quality it can be for you guys, even when it means I eat pasta for a week, you know? Like, I want to experiment and find the best and easiest ways for you guys to make your games better. But the Patreon helps so much. You have no idea how big a difference it makes to be able to count on a monthly income. So. I'm gonna try and do my very best to take care of all you guys who are supporting us. You are the lifeblood of the show and we couldn't do it without you. But I am happy to announce a new wand design that will be available on the Etsy store. This is what we are calling the Unseely Wand and the runes mean darkness there, nothing more. And it was a commission, not part of the Patreon reward, so it will be available to everyone on the Etsy store. And the winner of the Aurora Pauldrons has opted to pass in exchange for being entered five additional times into giveaways because she does not wear that much armor, which means the Aurora Pauldrons will be back. But if you can't wait that long, I listed them in the Etsy store as well. And finally, thank you so much to the LARP Saga YouTube channel for your shout out. That was, that was very heartwarming. And you guys should go check out his video on his custom Calamacil sword weapon. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty handy video if you're looking to get a very specific type of weapon. Made. Straight to slime time. All right, so I'm gonna start off by showing you the very basic slime recipe and then we can uh, we can add more fun things from there. It's a, uh, it's mostly a pretty standard recipe with uh, a couple, of, you know, special ingredients here. The very first thing I'm going to do is take an entire teaspoon of borax powder, which you can get online, and dissolve it completely into one cup of water. <laughs> Then I am going to take about a half of a teaspoon of baking soda and dissolve that into a half a cup of warm water. You want to make sure it is as dissolved as possible. 
And then I am going to add an entire bottle of Elmer's clear glue. You can also use Elmer's white glue, but you know, it'll be white. So it just depends on the color and opacity of slime that you want. Next thing I'm going to do is pour that baking soda water little by little into the glue. It, uh, it shouldn't make your slime permanently cloudy if you dissolve your, your baking soda well enough. So a lot of slime recipes are going to tell you to add soap or lotion uh, for stretchiness, and I spent about a week experimenting to see what ingredient made that so, because I wanted more control, and I found out that it was glycerin. So I'm adding here a teaspoon of 100% pure glycerin. It is from AfroCare, I believe, and it's interesting because this stuff is actually edible. It is a sugar based uh, emulsifier and it, uh, it's it's a moisturizer for your hands and your hair so it's a uh, it's it's a really nice ingredient to add to slime it, it it makes the slime sort of good for your hands <laughs> and the cool thing about glycerin is that after your slime is done if you find that it is too uh, breaky and not stretchy enough you can add glycerin after the fact to save a crumbly slime. Now I am adding a couple drops of lime green food dye because I want this to eventually be my my glow-in-the-dark slime, possibly, maybe. But I do love the green mucus color. I think that's a good I think that's a good start for effects slime. And um, I'm adding more baking soda mixture uh, just to sort of adds it sort of adds volume and here it is it has made the slime opaque a little bit it uh that's that's because the baking soda wasn't dissolved all the way but that's fine I'm not I'm not too worried about it because you know mucus and here I am adding about like an eighth of a teaspoon of blue pearl powder um, you can find this pigment powder from uh, Smooth On. Smooth On makes it, but also I find that uh, pigment powders that are suppliers for auto body shops also make really beautiful pigments. So I'm just gonna mix that blue pearl powder in here, possibly add some more. And uh, now, once you have it the color you like, it is time to add the borax mixture. Just a little bit at a time while you are stirring. Now because I put pure glycerin in this recipe, that is why I have the stronger borax mixture, a full teaspoon in with the, in with the cup of water. A lot of people say to use half a teaspoon, but not with pure glycerin you don't, so. And then just uh, fold it, and eventually, you know, you just you're just gonna want to use your hands. It does help to uh, work the like knead the slime with your hands, uh, adding adding a little more borax as needed um, until it uh, until it stops sticking to you, but still stretches nicely. And that's, uh, that's money right there. Um, the, the glycerin makes it really stretchy and, you know, without having to worry about limiting yourself to soaps or lotions that you have on hand, you can, you can scent it however you want and you don't have to worry about it ruining the color. Um, and it just, it's so, so soft pure glycerin oh my goodness and I will I will have links to all of the stuff that I use in the description I absolutely love the, the glycerin that I got from afro care I believe but I got it on Amazon and if you guys use our Amazon links you uh, you help us out at no extra cost to you so if, if you do want to check this out then that would be that would be really cool 
And from there, you can add anything that you want to get crazy effects. This I made by adding the mermaid pigment from our LARP House color chart, which is a pigment that I mixed from a couple shimmery and a couple color shifting uh, pigments to make it sort of a pink and blue color shift. And I put it inside of a very lightly lavender tinted slime to get this effect. This is sort of, this is definitely a mermaid, mermaid slime. And speaking of mermaid slime, here we have the mermaid egg slime that was in the very beginning of this video. I got this effect by using bright blue slime and adding my unicorn pigment, which is again, it's another combination of of different types of pigments, and then putting uh, blue and white Orbeez in them. And if you don't know what Orbeez are, they are also sweeping the YouTube. Um, they are silica or like just absorbent water beads. They start out small. You put them in a bucket of water overnight, and they grow. And they they are like jelly pearls. They're they're just so much fun and this this I feel would be a wonderful effect for like maybe if you had giant bugs or fish or anything anything like that anything that really any excuse to use this would be great and then we have the giant alien eggs that are literally they're just they're just bigger Orbeez except I got them um, there's a different brand that makes them and that brand is I'm not sure how to how to say it, but those those are the size and they became these after like two and a half days of soaking in water, so. And then there is the glowing slime, which I got by adding about a, a full teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of Smooth On's Glow Worm Glow Powder. Um, there will be a link to that in the description as well because it is available on Amazon and it is this this is completely unedited uh, footage um, it glows very brightly and it's probably one of the longest lasting brightest glowing pigments that I have ever ever used and has the potential to be truly terrifying so it, and it's just mesmerizing to watch really Okay, moving on. This pearly green goodness is what the glow-in-the-dark slime looks like in the light. Now we have the wine slime, which when all the air bubbles are out, it does actually look like wine. But when you take it out and you play with it, it actually becomes this horrible red, like, gory organ color. And you can just, you could really use this to to truly horrify some some PCs, I think. Like, if you're a healer or something and you have to do surgery, it would be just so funny to just like pull a string of this out of your hand and make it look like you were pulling it out of a a person. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, you don't need that anymore. Oh man, it's late. I'm tired. Please excuse me. But this is this is. Probably one of my favorite ones that I've made because there's just something about looking horrific that is just deeply therapeutic. I should talk to my therapist about this. Maybe. Nah. And then last but not least, we have the galaxy slime here, which I got from adding my mermaid pigment to a darker blue slime, and it really, it makes it just look, the color shifts from blue to pink, and in, inside a purple, like, tinted slime, it's amazing. And here is the unicorn slime, which is just the unicorn pigment that I have, um, in in a clear in a clear slime so it's it's very pearlescent pink green color shift and a lot of these are mixtures of existing um, auto body pigments and some makeup pigments and pigments from smooth on so um 
look look for chameleon colors look for auto body colors look for resin additives basically powder pigments are your are your way to go here um and uh have a uh, have fun maybe maybe uh get your friends together have your own slime time godspeed so that's it for this week nerds thank you so much for watching we love you we cherish you and if you have any questions comments or emotional helpers please feel free to message us we are on twitter tumblr facebook and instagram wow <laughs> and uh, especially watch out for the facebook because there will be live streaming from berlin and let me know in the comments what kind of practical effects you would like to see in future episodes and as always nerds like us subscribe to us fight with us Ralph. <laughs> this is my favorite slime. What does that say about me? That I'm awesome. Ectoplasm. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>